Hello guys, this is Tekariga here, and my apologies for not making a video for a long time. I have been focusing all my energy on my programming, honestly. And if you guys are interested, just post something in the comments saying that you're interested in looking at videos or whatever, and I'll try to make something like a tutorial or whatever you guys are interested in. Now today, I'll be reviewing the Afterglow Xbox One controller. The controller LEDs are lightly lit and vibrant as you can see. Honestly, I came thinking that the uh, Xbox controller is going to just be lightly lit, but it's actually vibrant and it's actually bright. And you can also control the brightness with it, which is actually kind of cool. Now, everything with this controller feels great. The buttons are clickly and tactile. The triggers are actually amazing. Honestly, I prefer it over the Xbox 360 controller as the Xbox 360 had felt like a delay. Like you have to press all the way down to um, register while these, the second that you press them, they're activated, which is actually really cool. The bumpers are okay. I mean, they're a little mushy, but it's fine for what you're getting. It, it's usable, and it's not the biggest drawback, and honestly, it doesn't even matter. The RGB lighting is not true RGB, which means it doesn't really show 6.8 million colors. That's okay with me, but generally, you're just going to see red with violet, pink, yellow, cyan, blue, green, and uh, orange. You know, that, that's really it. You can, you know, a little mess around, but you can't really get the specific tone of color you want. Now, gaming with this is just, it's pretty good. It's comfortable in my hands. The design is very elegant and nice. And I would say it's more comfortable than my Afterglow Xbox 360 controller. Here's some gameplay of me playing Left 4 Dead 2, Rivals of Ether, and Burnout Paradise. What really is crazy about this controller is how it's the same price as the official Xbox One controller. Maybe even cheaper in most places, or some places in particular. I got this for $50 on Amazon, and... It might not be the highest quality controller like the first party uh, official Microsoft controllers, but it does honestly give a lot. It comes with really nice lighting. It comes buttons on the back to act like extra buttons, sort of like the scuff controllers, I believe they're called, where um, the back button, one of the buttons is X, one of the buttons is A. I believe you can remap it. I haven't really played around with it because I honestly don't need it, but it's kind of cool. And also that's on the elite Xbox uh, One controller too. And... Uh, you can also program the controller to like change colors every few seconds uh, Which is kind of cool like a cycle or rainbow cycle and um honestly, I would rate this controller almost perfect There's no obvious flaws and overall. I'm extremely satisfied. Please leave a like down below and comment below What do you want to see next? I'll try my best to post as much as possible from now on see you guys for now